welcome to another episode of In My Kitchen. I'm your host, Gavin Boy. Last time you were there, we made eat mango, and I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to eat mango. Today, we want to do something a little different. We want to cook something in my kitchen. Well, we know how to cook. We want to bake something in my kitchen. I hope you're ready. Alright, today we are bake something. This is the Brownical Gerardelli. I don't know how to say that, but one thing I know that our rich brand. This is a chocolate supreme brownie mix. Premium brownie mix. Alright, you ready? Let's go. We will make this thing come true and hopefully it come out the taste good. Alright, first thing is say, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. So let's start by doing that. I will push bake at 325 degrees. I don't know how you forget things so quick like that. You know, you just pre bake 325 degrees or preheat. And by the time you go for putting the number, you don't forget and you have to check the box again. Anyway, that the go. The oven the heat up. So the next thing we have to do, the open up the box of course. And then we have to pour this in at uh, the container. Listen, my kitchen small. Ooh, the way that. Ooh, chocolate syrup. No mind me. I drop it, but you're in our pouch. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up. And we are drop it in our wee in a, we will drop it in a wee bowl. One thing I will tell you, I don't like chocolate cake. And I know I don't like chocolate ice cream either. So you would think say I do a person when I like chocolate. I like chocolate. I love milk chocolate. If that a real milk chocolate deal where you just like that, I like that. I have no problem with that. I love it. I also like brownie. Brownie that one thing I like, I love. But for some reason I don't like chocolate cake and I don't like chocolate ice cream. Anyway, that day in at the bowl. So preheat oven 325 degrees. Prepare baking pan by lightly greasing or spraying with non-stick cooking spray. I have non-stick spray, but I go and use a little bit of Crisco. When I bake, I prefer to use the Crisco to grease my pan. So I say I can use either an iron pan or I can use a glass pan. The iron pan where I have, then they're too big, so I will have to use the glass pan. Alright, let's go ahead and grease the wee pan. Grab a little bit of Crisco in your pan. And just go ahead and grease. This is our glass pan, so there's no one non-stick thing. So you have to make sure you grease it good. And you know what? Put too much grease because you don't want the whole you know what the thing bun. But you have to put enough grease to make sure it does stick. And you know why you, you know why your oven smell up too, so because you know this thing will burn off. Alright, that look like I grease it good. Not too much grease, just lightly grease, but make sure every single piece of it have some grease. Because you know why I brown the stick and then that thing will be hard to clean. Let me wash this grease off of my hand. Alright, next thing. Place water. Ile an egg in a medium bowl and stir until fully mixed. Add brownie mix and chocolate syrup. Stir until well blended. Spread in prepared pan. Oh lad. I never may I put that in the bowl yet. I know how I do. I will mix this in a different bowl and then pour it in that one. Alright, I have another bowl. So I say mix quarter cup water one three quart one three cup vegetable oil one egg we don't even know how to do one three cup I have one three cup in here ah one three cup then you know this big one rinse that off all right one quarter cup water Ooh. 
guata, corta no, a lot of guata, you know. You know what? We don't even need this. Alright, quarter cup water. One three cup vegetable oil. We don't have vegetable oil, but I have canola. I don't really know where the canola, but I'm sure that that's some kind of vegetable anyway. One three cup. I'll mix it right into this one. This is that two three cup, but inside our one three cup measurement. Ooh, the oven ready? Yeah, I just know it beep. So you're ready? I ready like Freddy. My granny used to say <laughs> my granny used to say that all the time. Ready like Freddy. And I have the one egg. That no look pleasant. I use a brown egg. I have something against white egg. I feel like white egg that poison. But you know? They no, no real difference between wrong egg and white egg. They say that um, the only difference is uh, the color of the chicken. If the chicken white, the egg will come out white. If the chicken brown, the egg will come out brown. I used to buy organic egg all the time, you know. But that, that thing expensive. You to pay over $5 for 12 eggs. I can't do that. So I go back. To the cheaper version, but I always make sure I buy brown egg because I just feel better about brown egg. So I mix that. I know I said I'm supposed to pour it in the mix. Still not look pleasant, but you know what? Next thing is to mix. We'll mix this. Oh, we're supposed to put the chocolate syrup too. My sink clean. Don't judge me. I'm going to be chocolate. Let's taste this. Uh... Ooh, that, that thing good? It looks like dark chocolate with uh, milk chocolate. Sweet, sweet. I just like my finger, so I need to wash it. Get it on nasty. Alright. Next thing now is to whisk away. Mix this thing. Me don't know one if you use mix. Uh, me don't know one if you use whisk, but. Let's see how this go. Woo, we child. Let me tell Uno something. While you watch this video, stop to judge my kitchen. I know how Uno people go. Anytime you see somebody host, you want to know where to go on. You want to see what they have. Me, no let people in at my house. If you come in at my house, that means that you're special. But I let Uno in at my house right now. Because Uno special to me. Anyway. You know, the time where we live, people that come into my house anyway because we have to do zoom here. We have to do zoom this, zoom that. The picnic them, the dep and zoom. People where they work, they pan zoom. Everybody the zoom zoom, zoom all over the place. You know when people get pan the zoom, they look to see what you have in at your house. They want to know what your living room look like, what your dining room look like, what your kitchen look like, what you have, what kind of picture. You have plants, your house have light or a day in a darkness. People that are on the nosy. All that to say, not just my kitchen. This is the way I live. This is the way I cook. This is the way I survive. Because I don't go out and buy food much. Look at that. Woo, it makes good. My arm tired though. I need to work out. Lift some weights. Alright, mix, mix, mix. I'll tell you what, usually when I big fat of people, I don't speak over the food because then my spit will get in at it. But this is just for me, so I'm not care the my spit anyway. If you cook for other people though, you need to be careful, make sure your kitchen clean, make sure you know the spit in at the food, make sure you don't have no animals to run wrong. Because I know some people that have dog and dog here, they're all over the place. But worse, people will have cat, the cat that on the counter. They walk your tail in at the food and then they will serve that to people. That's why you have to be careful. If you do pat lock that work, make sure you have a strong stomach. Oh no, no mind my head rock. I wake up this morning, they have me to work at home. And I'm too lazy to comb my hair, so I just wrap it up. And I know some people judgmental. They think so because you're the why, you know, for wear head wrap. So this is the one thing I know I wear out at the house, but at the home right now. So I have a head wrap on because I never want to comb my hair. No judge me. This is my kitchen. 
Anyway, this looks like it's good right now. So I go ahead and pour this in the container, in the um, pan, and we will get baking. This has raw egg in it, so you know if you eat it, who knows I might eat it anyway. Let me get a spoon or something and I will rake the rest of this in the pan because I don't want to waste any of it. I will come back. Alright, I come back. I use this to scrape out as much as I can. If I choose to eat this, that's not for me problem, you don't worry. Anyway, I will take this and I will flatten it out. Make it even as much as I can. No judge me. This is my kitchen. I will do the best I can. You worry about you, boo. Alright, so that ready, we'll take it and we'll put it in the oven. This look good. I can't wait. it. Alright, so I said the thing for bake for 40 to 45 minutes. Man, that took a long time. Alright, let me go set the clock. Uh, cooking time, 40 minutes. Alright. In case you may wonder why I have pot in my stove, because I don't cook my dinner. I will tell you one thing, but we Belizeans, we not play with dinner. As soon as breakfast done, we start to cook dinner. As soon as dinner done, no, ma no matter what time of day, we go and eat. So my pot, I got pot on the stove because me don't make my dinner, me don't eat. Now what I need to do, the wait for my dessert, and then I will put dinner in the fridge so I can have food again for tomorrow. Anyway. This thing will bake for 40 to 45 minutes and we'll come back then. Alright, time. The thing done. Let's go ahead, turn off the oven and take this bad boy out. Ooh, the smell of chocolate. Yes. Make sure I'm not bun myself. I'll put that right there. It needs to cool down. Alright, back side, you know, if you touch it, no cut it until it's done cool. So I have to get the room temperature before I can cut it. Stay there, my friend. I'll come back. Alright, that time come. The thing done, cool down to room temperature. Now I can go ahead and cut it. I will tell you something. The whole reason I did bake this is because I stress out, lad. Maybe it never cool enough because of the breakup. But okay, though. Listen, the whole reason I make this thing is because I need some stress food. I did wait for days now for them finish the count. This election thing with Trump and Biden. I may think said this would be an easy election. But look at this the race to close. So. I stress out and I need some stress food. The end of this election, either I will end up happy or I will end up mad. Either way, until I give the results of this election, I need to eat some stress food and watch where to go on. Vanilla almond milk. Alright, everybody. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you later. Pray for America. Thing to fall apart. Ooh wee. Ooh that good. Mm. Y'all don't judge me. This is at my kitchen. Y'all know if you judge me. This is at me kitchen. And now my stomach would have punish if anything happened because of the raw egg with the you know this. You do you boo. Anyway, that I think good.